Hey guys, welcome back to Sabres Forever. I'm John, and today we're going to be going over the much anticipated Heart of Siberia. This thing is loaded up with the new Profi Board V3.9, and boy is it fast. This thing has no lag whatsoever, and uh, the Sabre itself is so well thought out that I just can't wait to do the Master Chassis in a few weeks. So, without further ado, why don't we just jump right in and I'll show you exactly what's going on. Alright, so this is the Heart of Siberia. This thing is <laughs> really nice. It's made and manufactured by Denis Lukinov, and it is distributed on the Sabre Armory. You can buy these from uh, Cal. And you can get them weathered. This one is not weathered, but uh, Dennis and his team, they do a great job. And uh, it's always great to support, you know, other makers. And his work is definitely unique. Uh, I really love the aesthetic to this. I know he took his own little twi uh, stab, <laughs> his own little stab at the Jedi Killer. Um, and this thing is just so gorgeous. I mean, the assembly is really well thought out. And the installation is... Um, once you understand what you're doing, it's pretty straightforward. And uh, I love that the crystal just has its own little reveal, um, this little window that opens and closes, so you can get a better view of the, uh, the crystal inside. This is going to be a really quick video because, honestly, it's super easy to access everything. So I'm just going to go over the everything you've got. This is your um, blade retention screw right here. I actually glued this little knurled bit to the um, the Allen key or the Allen head, the button head screw. Sorry, um, so that you can use it as a thumb screw. Uh, it is glue, so if you're really gonna like swing it around, I would use a tool um, to tighten this. And I oh, this is a two millimeter Allen wrench. Yeah, so two millimeters. But if you're just like putting this in, like you can just thumb, thumb tight. I mean, it's not going to come out. If you want to put a blade in and just swing it around a little bit, I'm sure thumb tight's cool. But if you're going to like do some spins and stuff, definitely use the uh, Allen key. So you have the stock NPXL Eco. You have a Accent NeoPixel right here. You have your auxiliary and your power. You have uh, access to your kill switch right here turns on and <laughs> that alone is a huge selling point for me <laughs> you don't have to open anything to even turn it on you can just access the kill key and turn it on and you're good to go uh turns on it has a 28 millimeter bass speaker and a fully removable chassis it is best practice to turn it off before you remove it you don't have to in fact, it's kind of cool to see it engage the LED when you put it in. But this is your um, soundboard. So this is a Profi V3 uh, with a stock rotary connector, an 18650. And this just comes out completely. You can see the, um, the speaker. To get this, the battery out, you can push from here. Careful not to push on the SD card and then grab this right out of there and you're good to go. Positive is the nipple side. So always remember that nipple to nipple and flat to the springy side. So always goes in that way. You do it the other way, you're gonna have to replace the board. Not good times. Um, oh, so you gotta put this back and then you've gotta pick your orientation for where which window where you want that so I'm not really sure where it's gonna be let's find out so put this in but once you get it in and you see how far it goes like you don't want it to land under here obviously so this is exactly where I don't want it to be so if I want it across from that and I want to do this Now that falls just to the left of the red, the red wire. Now the red wire is totally aesthetic. Um, it doesn't actually do anything. It's just there. It's glued in place um, at the ends. 
and it's really honestly it's you barely even notice that it's there it doesn't really get in the way at all um, and plus you're probably gripping up here anyways so really cool let's put a blade in it real quick and I have this programmed with a fairly unstable sorry that was me a fairly unstable uh, crystal chamber This font is um, by Kyberphonic, one of the Kylo Ren fonts. Wherever you are, you are hard to find. This one's Dyad, also from Kyberphonic. And I have a low battery. If you ever hear crackling, that maybe that sounds like it's part of the font, but if you hear it, you know. Um, but yeah, if you ever hear the speaker crackling, it just means you have a low battery and you should probably charge it. So anyways, real easy, loosen this, take that out, put this back in, let me throw that part around, and then, where did I say it was, right here? Flip that off and you're good to go. Close your door, bam, done. <laughs> so as you can see, highly desirable for the sheer fact that you don't even have to open the saber up to kill power or turn it on. Um, the saber is incredibly well thought out. It uses a one inch blade and, uh, yeah, I ordered a weathered one with a master chassis. So stay tuned for when I do that video. For now, let's wrap this up. All right, guys, that does it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to see more awesome videos featuring sabers just like this. I do have a Heart of Siberia coming that'll be weathered and is getting a master chassis install, so keep an eye out for that video when it's done. Uh, I'm still waiting on parts from Shapeway, so it could be a few weeks. But if you are looking to get a Saber installed, please reach out at john at sabersforever.com and I'll get right back to you and make sure you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. If you have KR Sabers, uh, products that you're looking to get installed. I have a whole section on my website at www.sabersforever.com that is ready and able to help. So definitely take a look at the website and peruse a little bit. But until the next video, guys, may the force be with you.